Hello, hello. Here we are. We are streaming today. 1080p, 6,000 bit rate, 60 frames, and it's currently 10.38 p.m. on Tuesday, the 26th of December, 2023. And the time has finally come. Almost two years. Almost two years. I think it's been more than long enough. I think we're, uh, we're ready. Now, this is, uh, we're going to do a quick check of the settings before we get into it. Also, um, I don't know how long the VODs are going to be. So I am going to aim for, um, like some games you aim for an hour, some games you aim for like an hour and a half, whatever, it depends. The VODs for this one, I think I'm going to kind of play it by ear. So there might be some that are three hours and some that are an hour and 20 minutes or whatever, depending on what I'm doing. But they probably will lean more towards the longer side of things compared to some of the other games that we have got VODs for. But like I said, we'll see what happens. I do have a uh, prioritizer frame rate rather than ray tracing. I think ray tracing could be cool, but not just yet. Um, and I can always go back to it. Um, as for everything else, most of it is pretty standard. Um, subtitles on, all that sort of stuff. Voices up, music and sound effects down a little bit, etc, etc. Nothing out of the ordinary. Um, but yeah. So, let's get started. Also, hello Albatross, welcome, welcome. The noises again. Praise me for my worship. Thank you for the 38 months. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but yeah, we, we need to get in and start creating our character. But thank you for the resub. It's funny that you get that to pop up right as this happens. Hmm, hmm, interesting, interesting. Because the day that this came out, which was February 25th, almost two years ago, uh, I decided to play Sekiro instead because I didn't have this. And I was going to put this off until the DLC came out, but I uh, couldn't hold out anymore. Couldn't hold out anymore. Just really, really, really wanted to play. Um, and the DLC is taking forever. And this went on sale for like 40% off. And I'm like, because I've been putting it off, because I'm like, ah, it's full price. It's full price. It's full price. You know, it's one thing that's helping me not play it yet. You know, I was really trying to hold out. But it's time. Because I can't pass up a good deal and it being on a good game. So it's time to do it. We've got all these fantastic looking characters here. But if you've been paying any attention to the channel, if you're first time here, you might be like, oh, you could pick from all sorts of different things. If it's not your first time here, you know exactly where this is going. So. We've got all these different classes. Some with a good balance of stuff. You know, some with high dexterity, high strength, etc. Um, you know, good balances of bits and pieces. Probably their own wonderful little backstories, their own starting equipment. You know, all sorts of cool shit. However, we are going to go with whatever is the closest to Sorcerer. And we're not going to be putting any points into Vigor. Even if it breaks me. Alright? I would rather say that I was defeated by an Elden Ring playthrough than put points into Vigor. Because we played through Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 with no points in Vigor. The first one was accidental until about halfway through when I realized what was going on. And we're just sort of stuck from there. And considering this is the first playthrough of uh, Elden Ring, we're going to do the same. Or as far as we can. Now, I think the Astrologer is the closest to it. There's also Arcane. I'm not sure what Arcane is. Everything else is kind of similar. Mind. I'm not sure of too much either, but it seems to have pretty high mind. Um, relatively low faith. I don't know what Arcane is. Um, actually, hold on. Explanation. Yeah, here we go. All right. Level is level. Vigor governs HP. Also, fire resistance and immunity. Uh-oh. 
that's not good. No, we're not naming the character Saddle. One day. One day you'll get your wish. Um, fire resistance and immunity. So not only am I going to have low health, if I catch fire, I will be dead. Uh, and immunity, I'm guessing immunity to things like poison and shit. So yay. Um, determines FP. So your magic. Also affects focus. I'm not sure what that is. Um, stamina, robustness. Not sure what robustness is necessarily. Maybe it's like anti-stagger. Like how much damage you can take before you stagger or something. In terms of heavy equipment can be. Um, ability to wield heavy armaments. Also boosts attack. Uh, power of strength scaling armaments. Physical defense. Oh, affects your physical defense. Interesting. Okay. Required to wield advanced armaments. Also boosts attack power of dexterity scaling armaments. Reduces casting time of spells, softens fall damage, and makes it harder to be knocked off your horse. And intelligence, the good one. The only one that anybody really should be putting points into, ever. Uh, attribute required to perform glintstone sorceries. Also boosts magic power of intelligence scaling sorceries and improves magic resistance. Uh, sacred incantations, so your miracles. Magic power for faith. Uh, arcane, attribute gov governing discovery. Also affects Holy Defense, Vitality, and certain sorceries and incantations. So maybe that's like luck. Maybe it's like luck in Dark Souls 3. I don't know if that's what it is. There's probably somebody out there being like, yes, and then they're being like, no. Um, somebody, Somebody's either agreeing with me solidly or disagreeing with me, but I don't know yet, so we'll find out later. Hello, Valtech. Oh yes, tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring, hmm. Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. What, is, what was it? Just die in a ditch, why don't you, or something? Yeah. Good lines. He's not maidenless, he's got me. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And by the end of this, you may disown me. But yeah, so we're probably going to focus on intelligence... Probably a bit of mind, a bit of dexterity. Probably a couple of points of strength. I usually like to have a poking sword and a shield, which I'll probably come across out there. And no points in health. Zero points in health. Can you level him up? She has, actually, on occasion. Yes. I do have to give her the souls of uh, the foes that I slay in battle, but she has, she has leveled me up. You can be numbers that grow in size to make him feel better, yes. Oh, no, that's... No, you, we're not counting the student loan. No. That's different. Oh, she actually laughed for that one. That's good. Um, so much for me quoting there. Yeah. And chocolate, yes. But we're going to go Sorcerer. We're not going to put any points into Vigor. Um, and we're just going to wing it, pretty much. Maybe I'll put points in Arcane. Maybe it'll be... Maybe I'll we'll put some points in Faith. Who knows? We have mixed it up from game to game. But uh, without further ado, um, we'll hide the help. Get out of the help. Do that. Do A and B. I'm assuming that's just your gender. Or physique or whatever. Body type. Yeah, body type. Sorry. Don't want don't to mess things up. Um, our mage... Is Hanara. Think. Yes. Age. Young. Origin astrologer. Okay, so you can just pick the same stuff from the list. There's some cool cool stuff. Like that's obviously like your knight. And then a dexterity dude. Is it a dexterity? Yeah, it looks like dexterity. Yeah, 16. Yep. Um Strength, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, that's your strength. That's your warrior, warrior. Mm, bandit is high arcane. I'm assuming they're like a thief. Yeah. Anyway, interesting, interesting. B stands for boobies. Well, there you go. Perfect. Keepsake. Now, this is what I don't know, and this is this is what I probably should have checked into before I started. Um. Sable. No, no sables. Uh, Crimson Ember Medallion increases max HP. That could be handy, but I've got a feeling I'm going to get something else better. Lands Between Rune. The Gold Grace 
shining in the eyes of people of the lands between used to gain many runes so that's just like a hero's soul or whatever I guess um, a golden seed said to enhance sacred flasks sacred flasks are Estus flasks runes equal souls yes yes I, I know that bit um, sacred flasks are Estus flasks so I'm assuming this either makes it so that they heal more or you get an extra one. Oh, pardon me you either heal more or you get an extra one I'm not sure which but I'm assuming that's what it is Fanged Imp Ashes. I get Fanged Imps to summon. Because I've, I've seen bits and pieces of this. Obviously, like, I haven't necessarily been avoiding spoilers. But I haven't been searching them out either. Um, like, bits and pieces of lore and stuff that I've looked at. And um, obviously, like, the meme -y sort of stuff that's come to the surface. Like, the big snake dude's voice that everyone thought was very funny. The fact that, like, Melania is hard to beat. And the Let Me Solo a Dude. Like bits and pieces like that but I don't I haven't actually obviously played through any of it or watched playthroughs of it or anything like that so there's a lot of stuff out there that I'm very uh it's very up in the air um but the summons I don't think I don't think I'll take the summons cracked pot container for certain thrown items so that'll give us poison things grenades something um they mend themselves so I guess you get them back which is kind of cool like, my question is, are grenades expendable? And if I don't pick this, like, this is going to be like, oh, if you want grenades that renew themselves, this is how you get it. And other than that, there's no more renewable grenades ever. Um, sword stone key, two stone keys that are shaped like swords. Breaks the steel on imp statues, but can be used only once. So I guess this is kind of like the, the things that are in Dark Souls 2. The, I can't remember what they were called. They were like the the rectangular QB dooby doobies. You can answer that question. Feel free to answer the question because I'm curious. I am curious. Like I don't want to be like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna take nothing. Mimics? No, 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 not mimics. They were like um, in Dark Souls Two. There was like these QB things. Oh, they made five bombs reusable. This is just three more of them. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um. Swords don't care, yeah. So in Dark Souls 2, there was like these... Uh, I can't remember what they were called. I wish I could remember what they were called. But they're, they're basically things that you could find around the place. And they would slot into specific things. And sometimes they would open a door. And sometimes they'd slot into the floor. And it would make a trap turn off. Or open up a secret room. Or that sort of thing. It's like those cubes. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, bewitching branches. Five sacred branches charged with beguiling power. Said to originate from the demigod McKellar. I am assuming... But the bewitching branches, by the name of them and the way that they're about beguiling, um, they are the things that you could get that was like the consumable that would turn you into like a random prop. And it'd be kind of like prop hunt sort of shit, which is good for PvP in 99% of its uses and 1% it's good for PvE. But it would turn you into shit. But there was always a spell for that anyway, so there was no point in me really using them too much. Um... Boiled Prawn. Five pieces of Boiled Prawn. Boosts physical damage negation. So that's a consumable that I don't care about. They're better. They charm an NPC to make it fight on your side. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. I mean, it's a consumable, so I won't get it, but that's kind of cool. Um, Shabriri's Woe. The crazed likeness of a noble whose eyes have been gouged out. Wonderful. Attracts enemies' aggression. Oh, no, I'm good. Thank you, though. That's... Uh-huh. Might be good if you have a really good summon that is very squishy, but I'm good. I'm the squishy one. G'day, Lucky Jokester. How's everyone's day going? Going pretty well. Going pretty well. Starting Elden Ring today. How's your day? Um, so I'm tossing up between the Crimson Ammo Medallion, the Golden Seed, because I don't know if it gives you an extra flask, or if it just makes your flask more powerful. But either way, that's a good thing. Um, the crack pot sounds kind of interesting to have an extra few grenades. The sword stone key. There's only two of them, but if it's anything like Dark Souls 2, they're a real bitch to find. Um, just getting started, so not too much to complain about. Good, good. That's a good day. It's a good day. Um, Valtech. Valtech, I trust your judgment. You know how I play these games. You know that they're painful, but... You know, I'll, I'll take an edge here and there if I can get it. And I also like to not get locked out of certain content. 
So, would you recommend the Amber Medallion that reminds me of the bonus HP rings or stuff? The Golden Seed or whatever extra it can do to my Estus? The extra grenades or the two extra Swordstone keys? I may not necessarily go with your judgment, but I am curious. Decisions, decisions. I will sip my drink. You're an extra flask? I'm not an extra flask. So what is it? Extra fire grenades versus what? So, extra, extra grenades. I don't necessarily know if they're fire grenades or not, but extra grenades, extra keys to unlock things. Extra flasks or... or Stronger flask, I'm not sure. Or a medallion that gives me extra health. Um, I think there's enough swordstone keys to unlock most things on a casual playthrough, but you might have to hunt them here and there. Golden Seed is good for casters. Getting an extra sippy without losing out on HP sippies is nice. Extra grenades is cool, but I always forget to use them. So your mileage may vary. Okay. Alright. Um, I do like the idea of an extra sippy. If it is anything like Dark Souls 3, I'm pretty sure there's a cap to them, though. But um, Crimson Amber is deeply mid. Right, fair enough. Thank you for the follow, Cloaky Cloaked. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. Um, okay, well, yeah, I think I'll go with the extra. Extra health or extra magic sounds good. Yeah, I think, I think I'll do that. Giving me an extra Estus. If it's not stronger Estus, if it's an extra Estus, then that sounds pretty great. Uh, choose base template. Oh, we got... Okay. Um, most common face among the tarnished. After all, they were all warriors once. The face of an austere pilgrim. There are many roads to truth. A regal face found among those who claim noble blood in the lands between. A face found among the proud and seclusive tribe of folk well versed in ancient legends and heresies. Okay. Northerner. A face found among the hardy people of the unforgiving north. Some say they're descended from giants. The face of one who wanders the seas in search of their home in the lands between. The face from the faraway isolated land of the reeds where blood is a familiar sight. A stony face of the people of the ancient dragons whom life is typically short. The features of those known as night folk. Few in number. They were said to bleed silver long ago. That's kind of cool. The face of the Newman, Supposed descendants of denizens of another world. Long lived but seldom born. Interesting. Um, I think... An arrow is probably closest to that, and then we can sort of edit it from there. Just check the medallion is 6% extra XP. Extremely mid, especially considering I have about 6 HP to start with. So that's good. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Francis. And happy holidays. Yes, that too. Welcome, welcome. How you doing, buddy? Age young. Young voice. Oh, yeah, test. Hold on. Where's the button? Sample. Okay. Very gravelly. Age voice is very gravelly. Sure, why not? That'll do. Well, my Christmas Tim Tams need to take a quick shower or watch the stream in the meantime. Naked. Ah, oh, that's you do whatever you need to do, bud. You do whatever you want to do. That's fine. Uh That'll do. Alright, we can go like crazy colours, can't we? Temporary colours. Uh colour adjustment. Wait, no, this one. No, wait, hold on. Hold on. No, wait, hold on. Hmm. That'll do. Face and hair, what do we got? They melted global warming. Q. 
like a bone structure, hey? All right. Interesting. Form emphasis? I don't know what that is. What does this do? No idea. Oh. Okay. That's a very Dark Souls character face, but not what we're going to do. They always have... Whenever I see somebody else's face, they always have such a pointy face. Apparent age, 128, apparently. Doesn't look any different to me. And looks the same. So well, that's good. Leave it as is, I guess. Face. Oh. <coughs> oh, I'm dying. Facial aesthetic that starts to push out through her hair. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, nope. Um, ooh, eye patches. Yo, listen up. Here's the story about a little cow who lived in a blue... Oh, you changed her skin back. Yes, I did. Unfortunately. Um, tattoo mark. Eye patch. We have options for eye patches. That's just kind of cool. Oh, no. It's left eye, right eye, or no eyes. Oh, we could make, um... What do I name the Red Dead character? Oh, no. Raven. We could make Raven. The blindfold. Um. Oh no, it wouldn't be Hanara, would it? No, 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 no. We have forgotten. Can I change my name? I know who it is. It's Alyssa. She's the mage. I don't even remember my character names. Um. Okay, well, if we're making a lizard, then it's a little bit different. Because... Alyssa is quite pale. Because Alyssa is usually an elf. Blue hair? No, no blue hair. Maybe blue hair. You really wondering what colour you were going for? Yeah... Saddles love blindfolds? No. Uh, hair color. Go with that, and then we'll adjust it. We can do, like, a really dark blue. That's quicker. Um. Here we go. Over here. Lizzie can get away with a really dark blue. We have done that before. Nope, that's yellow. Alright. Last star is going to make it, what, super blue or super shiny? Ooh, super shiny. Alright. Glow in the dark hair. Or haven't washed it in weeks. Great for glow in the dark hair. Root darkness. We haven't dyed it. I suppose if we went, like, blonde hair, then it would be... White hairs? Nah. Facial hair, eyelashes, eyes, skin features. Eyes are a very particular color. Eyes are... the opposite of Laurel's. So we gotta do that. Um... Eye clouding, eye white colour. Ooh. Like we could. Interesting. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> right eye position, and we could move it away from the left eye, so they're just separate. I'm not gonna fuck with that. I'll fuck with that another time. One day. One day, one day. Big old irises. It's just the ears all over again. The ears in Red Dead? Yes. The ears in Red Dead. I nearly died. They were very funny. Facial hair, eyelashes, cosmetics, tattoos. Here we go. Alright, so, tattoo. Uh, so, we know that it's going to be green as fuck. Again, this comes from her origin as a... Uh, 
an elven magey whatever. What do we got? That's that's gonna be pretty close. Um we're looking at probably twenty-three. Not that I know what that symbol is. Probably means like I don't know. Elden Ring fucking murderer or something. We don't know. We'll just pretend that it's just a cool picture. Do that. Um, ooh, we can make it very, very bright. All right. Um, probably should have changed the hair before I start changing this, but that's all right. I'm assuming that expansion means size. Time to get back to work. Good luck in the lands between, Saddle. Thanks, Valtech. Appreciate it, bud. No, but I do appreciate you dropping by. Thank you for thank you for everything. Thank you for saying good day. And I uh, I will talk to you again. It's good seeing you, bud. Okay, that definitely needs to be smaller. Right, wow, that's that's as small as we can get it. All right, that's fine. We can work with that. We can work with that. Um. Can we do... Upside down, maybe? Hmm... Not... Not anything that's particularly great. Um... We need a smaller picture, then. Are they all going to be the same? Oh, that one's even bigger. Crazy. Uh, we could flip that. But some of them, they're not tattoos necessarily, they're marks, right? It's really like that's as small as it'll go otherwise it's like the size of her head okay hold on Do, oh we'll go this way bring it up under her eye a bit and then we'll see if there is anything else because we're not going to get another chance to change it i assume very vivid green exactly exactly that is the point Um, I could put that around her eye. Let's go with this. And then we'll put it up a bit higher. And then we'll change the size a bit. And then horizontal a bit this way. Vertical a bit down. Leave the expansion as it is and just rotate it a smidgen. And then put it a little bit up. You love the character creation? Me too. I don't do it often enough. But we're probably going to be using this character for another 100 plus hours, so, you know. May as well put a bit of effort into it, you know? Looks like a monocle. I'm not a fan. Not what I wanted it to be. Um... Do this. We can put it up a bit. Yeah, 
That's kind of close to Hanara. Or not Hanara, fucking Alyssa. Alright, we'll do that then. That'll be fine. Possibly even. Do that, and then go... Just wait. Hmm. Change eyes for the tattoo? Nah, it's always the same eye. It's always the same eye. Looks like a little person. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Little, little person running along. Little person on the cheek. There you go. Uh, okay. Bring the color down a smidge from blindingly green. That'll do. <laughs> Ever so slightly less blindingly green. Um, cosmetics. You've already got a bunch of cosmetics. That's fine. I'm not going to mess with that too much. Uh, hair. But that's, funnily enough, even though I know that was the starter hair for the other one, that's closer to Alyssa's hair. But... Mm, what's this one? No. Eh. Hmm... No. <laughs> that looks like fucking Liza P almost. Uh... Alright, we'll go with that one then. I think that's what we're gonna go with. I might even... Try to bring the colour down a little bit. on this. Let's go. There-ish. Possibly even a bit darker. If we go too dark, it's not going to be... Oh, actually, hold on. That'll do. Did anything change? Yes. If I try 12, the, the hair, you mean? Oh, fuck. Press B. The hair, you mean? Yeah, the hair. Where's the service man? I was looking away for a second. Me, me. Uh, hair. All right. Like this is the hair that I'm gonna pick, but I'm gonna. I'll show you twelve. That one. Very emo hairstyle. I like it. I did hesitate on it. I was thinking about it. But I'll probably go the short hair. No, no, probably. I'm gonna go the short hair. Uh, okay. So that's done. Alter body. I don't know if we can really do much body hair color. Nah, that shouldn't be a thing. Musculature. Muscles. No muscles. Um, it's a mage. It's a mage. Is this just like big head mode? Oh, Jesus, it is. So in theory... Retro on his soul. Ah, sorry, DD. I don't want to play on easy mode. I'd go Wretch if I wanted to play on easy mode, but I'm not going to do that. Wretch is good for hard mode if you only do like a, like a level 1 playthrough, sure. But how you doing, Didi? Welcome, welcome. 13. You're going to see 13 here. That one. Like, that's not it. It's not it. Um. Abdomen, arms, legs. 
Like, we could probably make it really short. Nope, it just makes the legs skinny. Uh, alright. Save to favourites. Yeah, go on. Okay. Detailed appearance, choose base template, etc. Uh, I think... I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Only took us 35 minutes to get it, get through the character creation, so that's good. Ooh. Elden Ring, finally. The fallen leaves tell a story. Okay. Unfortunate. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Now, Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. in the night of the black knives godwin the golden was first to perish that's a big knife soon marika's offspring demigods all claimed the shards of the elden ring okay The mad taint of their newfound strength. It is. Triggered. That's shattering. That's an unfortunate way to go. A war from which no lord arose. That's a big sword. A That's war a... leading to abandonment. That's a bigger sword. By the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Who is Grace? Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands. He looks sick. The ever brilliant gold mask. He looks a bit less sick. Fear, the deathbed companion. That looks unfortunate. The loathsome dung eater. Okay, don't eat poo. And Sir Gideon Othnir, the all-knowing. Okay. Looks like he's covered in barnacles. And Dee Dee is on a three stream streak. Congratulations, Dee Dee. And one other whom Grace would again bless. A tarnished of no renown. It's a me, not Mario. Cross the fog to the lands between. Fool. To stand before the Elden Ring. And become the Elden Lord. Would you like those steaks? Rare, medium rare, well done. Blue steaks, how do you prefer it, Didi? 
Good day, Saint. Welcome, welcome. Also, I'm just gonna do something real quick here. Uh, where is it? Where are we looking? It's gonna be somewhere here. No. No. Mm, no. No. I thought we'd have a brightness option here somewhere, but maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. Anyway. Uh, VOD viewers, I figure we may as well cut the character creation into a separate VOD. Now that we have begun. Um... But yeah, this is this is episode zero, I guess. Watching this tomorrow, ten years from now, or long after I'm gone. You're awesome. And I'm sure we'll hear from me again. Catch ya.